Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing part three of the how to make your own car, how to make your own car for 3D printing in Blender 3.0. Uh, this one will probably be a little quicker, but recap last video we did the roof and the trunk, which is actually quite a huge chunk of car. That's actually coming up pretty good. About as about as much of a car that is done that most. Uh, I find pictures of on Google when it comes to 3D modeling. So what we're going to do t in this part here is we're going to focus on this the f finishing the rear fender, but primarily this wheel well because there are old ways that I did it in my old tutorial video, and those heavily need change because in terms of toy making, which we'll get to towards the very end of the tutorial, that'll be uh, this, that'll help greatly. So what we're going to do is we're going to at least get this to the door. Whoa, 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 whoa. in here just to continue the curve down as well as helping this kind of start swerving in okay so what we're going to do is we're going to semi cheat and we're going to double G hold on double G that's N double G this over just so then I have data points on here. The less data points we can have, the better. So as well with that in mind, we will make a new one because this is best to stay in the middle. Okay, so we're going to take this and come down. Now, we probably ought to get a picture. Whoa. And see where this wheel well starts. So now we'll come back to our trusty picture here, and it looks like there isn't anything. It looks like it is just flat and cut out. Which, yeah, that would be the old style. However, I would still prefer to have something. Alright, so from there we'll come down once again. anything I'll actually keep that one as is double G this one upwards because I want to have a spot from here we will grab one of these drag it forward just the slightest hair because we have this bumper gap now this is where we'll do the wheel well so we're going to bring this down and we're going to make it conform which we'll even need to back it up a little bit as well so it's going to bend in a little this one will bend back a little more same with this now <laughs> let's double G it back a little only a little and then what we'll do is we are going to make these lines come down on their own with no face data so let's take this forward a little and pretty much the whole point of this is that everything will be connected to it then now there is a dip right there and it's not really pointed out here but it, it should hit about here so we'll come down a little more. Large dip. And then down all the way. Almost all the way. Let's go up a little. 
And then let's repeat over here. I gotta beat the hair dryer. That's my time limit. If you can hear that in the background. Alright, the dip and Oh no, hair dryer's done. All right, so we got that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these data points and drag them forward a bit. Not too much, but not too little. And because we can't just simply have the wheel well arch off of that, what we're going to do, take this upward. Ooh, F. Then G it back. There we go. So now we at least have some kind of arch, so then if it ever comes to modifying the lengths of this, which some of this needs held back quite a bit because uh, it's a bit off. All right, like that. So we don't, I mean, heck, if you have a sharp eye, you can see it, but we keep this conformity to where it doesn't look like it's anything much. However, this will help towards the end when it comes to actually uh, solidifying the model. Then what we'll do, bring this straight, have it conform there. Actually, we'll even bring it a little forward and actually come in a little. Then up and over. In fact, it needs to come out a little. Then we'll connect it with this, which will inform connect it with this. Yeah, it's not quite round here, but you know what? In nanoscope, it'll work. Sadly, I don't have as much of a fillet here as I can go with, but that's fine for now. We'll just ram this into the door. Come across. All right. And now we have our circle around for our scoop. All right, next part we're gonna do is this little scoop that's on the fender here. Sorry, I had a bit of a jump break there. About, well, a lot of day gone. Well, I won't say gone, because it was decently spent. Out having fun away from the computer is always good. All right, so what we need to do is deal with this scoop. Now, how the actual scoop goes is, yes, it does go in a little. However, when it comes to the thickening process, we want to avoid something like that as much as possible for the sole fact that if it folds in on itself too much, like if the vent actually went inwards, when it came time to solidify, the solidification is going to expand outwards. And that looks disgusting, especially if we have to sand it. So what we're going to do Firstly, is place that, move it up a little just in case, then we can move this forward so then we got an equal rounding, and then looking at the picture, what we're going to do is well firstly, let's do this, there, there, 
and I can't see get out of the way. <laughs> okay, select our outside border, scale in. Now let's see, with how it is, if anything, it's slightly more forward. Something like this, and it comes outward a bit. And rotate it inward. Grab that downward. And then have it go like this. Now what we're going to do is select the entire circle, grab that in, and we'll flatten it. it does need rotated inward a little. stretches up, stretches down, and now we have our scoop. And with how this is portrayed, it doesn't have any sharp angles, so then when we solidify, it doesn't hurt. So now let's finish up the bit last part of the rear fender. Yeah, just grab the three here. Bring that up. This will connect with this. So that'll go there. Let's see, does this flatten out as it comes up or does it go in? It does go in. So with that in mind, bring over bring over because then this will kind of carry around so actually let's considering we gotta also account for a rotation now we do need now let's see it it bows out this way I can't keep track of my mouse it bows out that way rather than this way if you know what I mean so within that way we can take our data points that we just added and move them backwards giving a little bit of bowing natural bowing and now we'll have to con double G so then we can actually connect these Tire squealing, that's always something you want to hear late at night. And then lastly, nice, we got our fender. All right, and then one last thing to at least make it look like we did a lot. I'm going to extend this all the way over because pretty much that's how the door is going to be.
it really comes out quite a bit all right and then with that what we want to do is that because that door is certainly not going to be flat bring this over drag it back now we got some bowing to go along with our door then it sinks in and then comes out for the hips all right and then we're not going to connect that just yet all right we got quite a bit done in this video so that'll be the end of part three uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like, and if you're new to the channel or wish to continue, well, if you wish to continue following, please continue following. But if, if you want to do the usual YouTuber plug, please subscribe, and so then you can know when new content is uploaded. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.